Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's, and it's a foggy Friday midday. We're looking at a Land Rover Discovery Sport. To start the engine up there, we've got the exhaust filter full message, uh, engine management light on. Now, you may have seen I've already done a few videos on these, but you never know, we'll always just make uh, another video on this one. Uh, you never know, there might be something slightly different that I can show you. So we're using the launch Euro Tab 2 here, we just go in and read the codes that we're looking at. So we've got DPF, soot accumulation, uh, vehicle conditions incorrect for DPF regeneration, and NOx exceedance. Um, he has had this at the Land Rover Garage itself, and it lasted a little while before these codes came back again. So... Uh, I think they've fitted a new NOx sensor and done some sort of update uh, and reset everything, but it's obviously come back. So we're going to go back out of here. We'll go to the data stream and we'll find the differential pressure. Done that wrong. Back in again. Change that to millibars. So we've only got 10 millibars on idle, which isn't too bad. So we just accelerated up to around about 3,000 there. Let's see what pressure we're on. 360. Okay, so we're going to need a couple of tools to get this job done, which should be a size 4 hex on quarter inch ratchet. A 13 millimeter for the, we'll use this 3 8 gun to get the uh, subframe uh, cross member off. And we'll just use a little pick on these. So we're going to try and clean out the add blue injector and we'll use this to remove the pressure holes from the DPF pressure sensor. Okay, we're underneath the vehicle here. Uh, add blue injector is just up there. Let me see if I can get a torch on. There it is. You can see there's a bit of black soot carbon around the area. Uh, so what I'm going to do just to make it easier for me is remove this little uh, cross member here. I've got the uh, sockets here to get it undone and actually I've got the wrong size one done these so many times you think I'd know the sizes by now it's a 10 millimeter not a 13 and we just had a bolt snap part of the job so we can move now this bracket just move it to the side we can get in easier access to the ad blue injector just open the clamp with that size 4 that we used take out the bolt there Just flex open the uh, clamp. Pull the blue injector back there. Now this ad blue injector is not really in that bad a condition to what I normally see. We just Give it a bit of clean up with some brake cleaner. Okay, now we've put the Adler injector back together. We're going to come over this side, right up there. Let's see if we can see the uh, pressure sensor. There it is, just up there. Mm -hmm. 
try and get a torch up there. Okay, hey, we've got a torch here ready to go get up under there where we can hopefully get you to see a little bit better what we're doing. But what we're going to use now is the compressor here and it's hooked up to the launch DPF gun here. And we are using Launch UK particle filter cleaning fluid and it's mixed 50% with water. Okay, just up there we have the pressure sensor there. I'm going to see if I can get my hand up there without blocking the camera. Just going to pull off that holes you can see there just pulled off that holes from the pressure sensor and now what I've done is I've connected up this holes here directly onto the DPF pressure holes so this one goes before the DPF and the other holes over there goes after the DPF now we can just get the gun here and squeeze the fluid in So now I'm going to use this laser pedal depressor and we can attach that to the accelerator there so the vehicle can hold the accelerations. Just hold that on there and we should be able to see the pressure now start to drop down. Give it a minute it should start coming down. You can see there we're down to 60 now millibars. Okay, we're gonna go back back again, special functions. Uh each car is different, so this one should be in here, yeah. Particle filter replacement, we're gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do first is turn the engine off and the ignition on. I'm gonna tell her it's had a new DPF now. Oh, sorry, what did I do there? Oh, we've lost connection because of turning the ignition off, so we'll just get it, make, wait for a minute till it reconnects. It looks like that's on the countdown. Switch the ignition off and press OK. That's completed. Turn it off, and we'll we'll just do a pressure sensor replacement as well. So this is just the same procedure over and over that we just done there, and that's complete. So now, after we've replaced that, it'll ask us, do we want to do a, a code read? And then it'll ask us to delete them. So now the codes should delete. If you delete the codes without uh, doing this replacement uh, settings here, then the codes will just come back within a mile or two of driving. Okay, now that's all done, we go to the ECM there and you should see that there's no codes in it. And this, yeah, this tablet is the 
launch Eurotab 2 if you're interested in it. And we should now have zero warnings on the dash there. And you probably noticed before that the maximum we could rev it up to was just under 3000 RPM, but now we should get full revs. Revs a lot more freely. Thirty millibars now. Twenty millibars. Let go of the accelerator. Let it idle down. Zero millibars pressure. Well, you can't get no cleaner than that. So I said, really, we're all finished on that one. And we'll see you on another video.